This video is about covalent bond. Okay, you know covalent bonds are different from ionic bonds or electrovalent bond. Ionic bonds are also known as electrovalent bond. Ignore it. So, ionic bonds are formed by losing or gaining electrons, but in case of covalent bond. Okay, the electrons are shared okay, among atoms. So this bond, uh, this covalent bond is different from this ionic bond. So this covalent bond is uh, a weak bond. It is a weak bond and uh, when dissolved in water, okay, when dissolved in water, they do not form ions. Therefore, they are they are non-conductors of electricity, right? Okay, in the reactivity of elements <coughs> is explained as the tendency to attain a completely filled outer shell. That is to attain the noble gas configuration. So elements forming ionic compounds achieve this by either okay, gaining or losing electrons from the outermost shell. In case of carbon, okay, it has four electrons in its outermost shell. So either it will gain four electrons or, or lose four electrons to form ionic bond. And these two cases are not possible therefore carbon okay forms bond by sharing electrons okay with other elements it is okay so not just carbon many, many other elements from form molecules by sharing electrons so in this atom okay in this manner the shared electrons belong to the outer shell of both the atom and lead to both atoms attaining the noble gas configuration. So, okay, so the simplest molecule formed okay, by using uh, this covalent bond is hydrogen. You know, hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell and hydrogen molecule means hydrogen gas has two molecules okay h2 it is here so each one share one one electrons to get the electronic <coughs> configuration of helium so the bond formed between hydrogen and hydrogen is it is co it is covalent bond it is so just i will show you now okay how this bond is formed see this is covalent bond between hydrogen and hydrogen. This electrons one electron is this one electron is of this hydrogen and this electron is of that hydrogen. So now so these two electrons are shared and now they both have the structure of helium atom it is here. Means they two they have two K electrons in their outermost shell. Therefore this is Okay, hydrogen, hydrogen bond. This is hydrogen and hydrogen bond here now, and ultimately we get H2, H2. This is co this is covalent bond. It is formation. So in this way, hydrogen is formed by sharing of electrons. Right? Yeah. Next, next it is uh, uh, next uh, is uh, about uh, this formation of uh, oxygen oxygen molecule you know it is, it is also diatomic and this uh, oxygen the atomic number of oxygen is eight and it has six electron in the outermost cell so oxygen requires two more to, to okay to become eight electrons in the outermost cell therefore it will share two two electrons it is here see how I am just telling you how to 
Now see the how this hydrogen, uh, this oxygen is formed by sharing of two two electrons. See here now, look here. So this dot, okay. So this dot represents the electron, and cross also represents the electrons of the other oxygen atom. This is the this dot are the electrons of this oxygen, and that cross ones are the electrons of of this of this oxygen. It is here now. Look here. So each one, each oxygen is sharing two two electrons. Two two electrons. It is here to make double bond. Look here. This is the double bond here now. So this is double bond O double two. So since two electrons are shared, okay, a double bond is formed in between oxygen and oxygen, and ultimately the compound form is this is O two. This is O two. This is O two. So okay. So in this case, the two electrons are shared and the Okay. Okay. In the formation of oxygen, and that is why we have double bond. Now, in case of in the same way, in case of nitrogen, in case of nitrogen, it is also a diatomic uh, N2. So the three it has seven elect total number of uh, electrons in nitrogen is seven because its atomic number is seven. So it has five electrons in the outermost shell. So it need Three electrons more to get eight. Okay, so each nitrogen okay atom will share three three electrons to become eight in the outermost shell. How this time I'm showing you? See, this is the formation of nitrogen gas. It is here nitrogen gas. Okay, nitrogen has three electrons in the outermost shell. Okay, uh, this, this uh, okay. They have five electrons. Sorry, they have five electrons in the outermost cell, and they are sharing three three electrons to become eight here now. So these dots are the electrons of this nitrogen, and that crosses are the electrons of that hydrogen. So each one is sharing three three electrons. Therefore, they become now eight electrons in the outermost cell. This nitrogen is also eight electrons in the outermost cell, and that oxygen, that nitrogen is also. Eight electrons in the outermost shell. Since three electrons are sharing, therefore the covalent bonds are formed is three. One, two, three. This is three. Three covalent bonds are there, and the product of them is nitrogen O2 it is here. So this is triple covalent bond. Okay, in between nitrogen and nitrogen. So, okay. So this is the bond formation about the nitrogen, uh, oxygen, and hydrogen. So, okay okay one more i will show you the formation of the simplest hydrocarbon that is methane you know methane it is ch4 so carbon has four electrons in the outermost shell so it will hold four hydrogen okay uh, okay four hydrogen uh, from okay uh, four hydrogen to get one one electrons from each one each hydrogen to become eight electrons in the outermost shell and this hydrogen will have two electrons in the outermost shell and this electron hydrogen will acquire the this uh, structure of configuration of this helium so just i'm showing you so okay okay now just watch is the formation of methane this is the formation of methane so this carbon has Four electrons in the outermost shell. The four dots are the electrons, and they belong to carbon. And each carbon electron is sharing one electron with hydrogen gas, with hydrogen atom. Look at this is hydrogen atom. Okay, each one. So now look at so this carbon. Okay. Carbon has a total of eight electrons, and this hydrogen has two electrons. This is also having two electrons. This is two, and this is two electrons. Okay, so therefore the bond form is this is covalent bond. It is here now. So this is covalent bond. So this is carbon is forming one one covalent bond with hydrogen, and the product of them is CH4. It is this is CH4. So okay, this is CH4. So this is the bond. So this is the bond formation between uh, this methane. Methane it is here. So methane is the 
simply as hydrocarbon. So I hope it will be useful to you. So watch it. I will make more video about all these things. Okay, thank you.